Conversation about young people putting themselves in a very, very vicious cycle of debts in terms of now trying to live for the moment and forgetting that indeed it's a long journey in this life. If tomorrow is a new day, and with me, I'm jo I'm joined actually by uh, Bonabundi from himself, from uh, uh, that's the director of business development, retire, retires, retires financial house, who will now be taking us through this conversation. SME is also in trouble, and a mind-boggling 47% of young people cannot repay the loans back. That means guys are only using it for consumption and not thinking of the bigger picture of investment. Investments. This is very, at uh, that discussion, I was very surprised actually yes. that people really uh, just want to consume. Yeah. And the young people in this country who uh, most of the time are always on the spot because yes. now when you talk about 47, not for actually 73% of uh, the statistics, yes. most youths are unemployed. Yes. But look at the blame game, CRB, yes. Yes. all those cycle yeah. about yeah. Uh, tag of war with the yeah. government and everything yeah. Yeah. but look at even our core values in terms of uh, savings yes. in terms of now investment yes. it's yes. zero yes yeah. yeah actually actually the national statistics say that our gross national savings yeah. have gone down from 16.7 in 2014 wow. now they are at 8.7 percent wow. so these are culture that we are seeing uh, that have started to grow uh, among the young people and that's why the other day I said yeah. that the time these young people be 50 years mm -hmm. most of us will be working Wow. Why will us be working? Because we are not saving at this time. Okay. Now, uh, I've been a proponent of uh, regulation among the micro-lending yeah. uh, industry mm -hmm. because what I believe and I strongly believe in my heart mm -hmm. is that micro-lending, basically borrowing for consumption, mm -hmm. is making our Kenyans more poor. Sure, sure. And, and, and you can see, as you are saying, 73% of the young people are unemployed. Yeah, yeah, so sure. how are they going to pay back their loans? If they if they are borrowing, yeah, so you're you're looking at forty seven percent of 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 the young people not repaying back their loans, mm -hmm. and those that are repaying their loans, they are taking loans from other mobile uh, credit facilities. Yeah, true, yeah. So at the end of the day, the young people are being made dependent mm -hmm. on these mobile lending platforms, mm -hmm. and 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 that's the why I'm really thinking that the government, as as the way the CBK has been thinking, mm -hmm. it's important that we regulate this sector mm -hmm. to look at how do we do responsible lending uh -huh. to our young people uh -huh. to ensure that they become sustainable at the end of the day. Sure. Yes, sure. yeah. So. Okay. Th those are kind of the issues that uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we are looking at being able to solve in, in the private sector okay. uh, as we continue to do discussions with the, with okay. the, with the government to ensure that regulation comes, in, uh, comes on board. Sure. Yeah. Now let's talk about if regulation and yeah. uh, most youth have complained about being listed on CRB. Yes. Most youth have complained about they cannot actually be able to access credit. Yes. They don't have collateral yes. to actually now present it to the banks, yes. to the microfinance sector. Yes. Yes. But look at uh, our entertainment joints. Yes. And look at the age group. Yes. Uh, sometimes what you see, uh, let, let's just take a tangible example. Yes. The type of drink you see on the table. Yes. Sometimes you feel like, okay, they might be the young working class, yes. but it's kind of mind boggling when you see some people spending more than even uh, 50,000 a night yeah. in, a, in a nightclub. Yeah. yeah, so this is this is, this is is exactly the, the, the problem that we, we, we are having in this country, mm -hmm. that uh, young people would even borrow to do betting. I, it, I was surprised that I did to know that 20% of our young people think betting is, a, is, a, is, a, is an Inca manner. Wow. So they even borrow to do that. And you can see, that's why I'm saying that most of them borrow for consumption. Most okay. of them borrow to go to those joints okay. and, and, and have the, and have the, the drinks and all that. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm really saying that there must be uh, that responsible lending that has to be paid uh, along. Yeah. Now, you're talking about most of them complaining to be on CRB. Yeah. Why would they not be on CRB? Mm -hmm. they are, they are, they're going to default yeah, be, sure. be, because they don't have a plan to actually be able mm -hmm. to, uh, to repay. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we've been uh, propagating for financial and investment literacy among our young people. Mm -hmm. It's time that they need to understand how do I manage my finances? Mm -hmm. How do I get a real revenue earner? Mm -hmm. And as you're saying, 73% of them are not employed. Mm -hmm. Last year, mm -hmm. our employment rent went down by 6%. So which means we created less jobs yeah. than we created in 2017. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means that we need to start looking at entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. How are we able to grow our young people to become entrepreneurs and generate real income? Yeah, yes, true. not to think about betting as being an income mm -hmm. or because of frustrations, then you, 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 you see them taking drugs and all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. And the way you are seeing our society is going, I can tell you 60% of the problems we are seeing right now yeah, is yeah. because of finances. Absolutely. And that's why we are talking about mm -hmm. financial and investment literacy Mm -hmm. being very key mm -hmm. to our young people. Now, when mm -hmm. you talk about even the issue of the values trickling on yeah. to whereby now they know how to start a business as yes. far as the young person is concerned. Yes, um, yes we are quick to start businesses. Yes. And uh, you see a business needs a, a sustainable capital. Yes. And of course, consistency in terms of just marketing it, yeah. brand visibility and so many things. 
the young people are not so much conversant with what's happening as far yes. as now business is concerned. Yes. We open a business and we think, okay, now I'll start making money as, as fast as possible. Yes. Then the culture shock comes in. Comes in, yeah. Boom. Yeah. No one is coming to buy your stuff. <laughs> you don't know how to market those things. Now, look at the brand, the know-how. Yes. How can you do this now to improve this culture? Now? Exactly, exactly. So, so, so and, and, and that's what I'm telling you, the private sector is coming in very strongly in that market because there's a huge gap, as you've said. Okay. Yes, I, I, a lot of young people are afraid to even start the businesses. Yeah. And most people see as employment as a place that they can actually be able to relax. Yeah. It's a comfort zone for yeah. them, that they are able to earn something every month. Yeah. But when it comes to entrepreneurship, it's a whole different skill. Sure. And at Retis Finance House, we do something called business incubation, which is very key. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we are talking about business incubation is to ensure that we are able to inculcate the entrepreneurial skills mm -hmm. into these young people. Mm -hmm. Do they know how to start a business? Yeah. Do they know how to be able to access credit? Mm -hmm. For example, right now, you know, most banks consider small businesses to be risk, to yeah. be very risky. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you able to mitigate those risky factors? Mm -hmm. And you see, we've gone ahead and we are still encouraging the government the way it's doing to create something called the credit guarantee scheme. Okay where they are going to guarantee small businesses of loans with commercial banks. Yes, yes. Why? This is going to stimulate the economy. So they get the capital that they require, mm -hmm. they come and get the skills that they need, okay. they're able to do financial modeling, they're able to present uh, financial projects that actually work, yeah. they're able to work with experts in the market, if it's mm -hmm. PR, uh, PR companies or if it's marketing companies, mm -hmm. they know what they need to actually be able to do that. Mm -hmm. 400,000 businesses fail every year. 400,000. 400, That's a big number. And these are startups. Yeah. They fail every year. Why do they fail? Because of lack of skill, yeah. because of capital, and because of uh, rapid technological changes. Okay. Now, this is the, these are huge gap that we are talking to the government to actually be able to bridge. Yeah. And it can be a combination of government effort and private sector effort, mm -hmm. like what we are currently doing. Mm -hmm. How are we able to bring the skill set? Number one, 67% mm -hmm. of the courses done at the university yeah. don't match the skills required at the job it's marketplace. True. That's why we're seeing some of them actually being Scrapped. Yes, so, so, so some of the, some of them are, are being scrapped. So what do we do? The first thing is we ensure that the technical skills you have to practice yeah. are the right skills, yeah. so that you can become a skilled workforce. Mm -hmm. If you believe uh, the other day, I was asking uh, some of young people who are looking for jobs. Yeah. I was asking them if you believe you have a skill mm -hmm. that you'd be employed and offer to this company, yeah. why don't you package that skill as a business? Mm -hmm. And true. instead of going to one company, mm -hmm. now you can go to two, three, four companies, exactly. telling them I can do this for you mm -hmm. and you can pay me for it. So you package yourself as a job mm -hmm. that's been it and uh, been an entrepreneur yeah. it's about opening up your mind mm -hmm. i was talking to some guys who did big on finance okay. and i told them of beautiful ideas they can be able to pursue especially yeah. in financial analysis and investing mm -hmm. and they were surprised why it's about them being exposure yeah. and information and them being able and that's what i'm saying it's a effort between the private sector yeah. and the government. Yeah. If some causes are not uh, okay, mm -hmm. let them be scrapped. Okay. And I really support the initiative in the education industry. Mm -hmm. the, the new curriculum is looking at skills. So you support it? Yes, I support it. I, I'm no. supporting that. No. Because, because we need to inculcate skills. Mm -hmm. We don't need to have people mm -hmm. who cram for exams. Who read for exams. Yes, it's, yes, it's who so cram for exams. What, what we did, actually. Yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> what we did. Yeah, yes. sure. So they cram for exams, mm -hmm. they come out to the marketplace, they can get the jobs because the employers know. Yeah. The employers know, I will employ you. Mm -hmm. and I'll pay you for three months while I'm yeah. still training you. So it's, it's a loss for me. Absolutely. It's a loss for me. Yeah. So you look now at employers, don't even value the degree. Mm -hmm. What they value is experience. Experience. Baby. Experience. You yeah, understand? Yeah. So we are looking at how do we get technical skills to these young people. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, how do you give you entrepreneurial skills? Are you able to do financial modeling? Are you able to access the credit that is mm -hmm. there? Then we can only give you money mm -hmm. to boost your business yeah. if we know that it's secure with you. And it's also, it's, it's, it's kind of yeah, in, in a state of maybe stability of yes. some sort. Because yes. now, we are looking also in a situation whereby, as much as you're talking about or SMEs, the yes. young people, yes. let's look at uh, uh, the foundations of these values. Yes. Look at uh, our parents. Yes. When when you're growing up, you're told um, you strictly need to be a doctor. Yes. You strictly need to be a pilot. Yeah. You strictly yeah. need to be inclined in this direction. Yes. Now, that culture has mm. boiled, as you mentioned, mm. experience is now the biggest thing right yes. out yeah. here. Yeah, sure. Your papers won't actually take you anywhere yeah they, yeah as mm. much as the paper is good yes it's actually ha it's good to have your papers yes but still mm. experience that's experience. why Practice. there was a hashtag mm. training some time back mm. pay in turns yes they feel like mm. we need to be paid mm. 
because now they're, they're also working. Yeah. Because when they leave the house, they, mm. they, I'm going to work. Yes. Mom, then I'm going to work. Yes. Coming in the evening, mm. empty-handed. Yes. Or maybe at the end of the month, you have nothing. You have now, look at the culture. Yes. Do you think you have to blame maybe that culture of being kind of raised up? Yeah, I think, I think, I, I think when, when, when we were raised up, we were raised up uh, with, with a, with a, with a straw. Yeah, yeah, sure. And and we had to grasp. For example, uh, when our parents took us uh, yeah. up to form four level mm -hmm. and they were able to educate us to university, yeah. you could not go back home. Mm -hmm. You had to go and now yeah. try and find it's something. True that. One thing that I've noticed with the young people uh, nowadays, mm -hmm. it, it's I, I don't know, but, but they have become, they really don't want to go out there. They yeah. have not become go-getters. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You remember there was a time we could do anything after our form four or, or, or after our university. Yeah. We could even uh, go sell mtumba. We could sell whatever that could be sold yeah. just to make an income. Yeah. Nowadays, young people are looking mm -hmm. for white-collar jobs. Mm -hmm. For example, there, there are some individuals uh, we brought into our office uh, the other day. Okay. And, and they were saying, after we did training for them on what they are supposed to actually be able to do, mm -hmm. most of them dropped off. Okay. They said it's a lot of work. Okay. Okay, just hold it right there. Yes. We're taking a short break, mm. but when you come back, you mm. want to talk about now, you'll be giving us tactics because as much as we're talking about all these problems, the savings culture and everything, now we'll be solution oriented because now we'll be talking and doing the working also because yes. now how do you as a young person have the savings culture in your life? All that coming to you after a short break. Right, welcome back to Morning Live. Discussion is uh, very educative because as a young person, you need to understand that you might be at risk of working to, till actually 60. Because now, uh, with the fact that you're not serving, it's uh, catastrophic to your life your children, to your grandchildren, that indeed uh, you didn't actually not plan for your life. So let's stop living for the moment. Of course, Marabundi, very, very um, powerful conversation right here. But now, looking, we've looked at the whole scenario. Yes. The yes. gaps that we have. The gaps that Now, are let's there. focus on the solutions because the now solutions. this is a very important part. Yes. Whereby now we need to now at least get the youth to now kind of be active in terms be, of not be yeah, very proactive absolute, yeah, yeah sure. be very proactive in, in, in the market it's what yeah. the youth uh, need to be yeah. so what is happening uh, right now in the market the, the market is really developing mm -hmm. in terms of encouraging uh, the savings culture okay. uh, as I've told you the national the national growth savings are at 8.7 percent they were at 16.1 percent so which okay. means it has dipped 50 yeah, percent sure. uh, more so what is happening right now we've realized that a lot of Kenyans are always complaining about the economy yeah. and they want to always spend mm -hmm. so what we're encouraging is something called passive savings yeah, yeah. when you have to save without having to think about it because we've seen that when kenyans have to think about saving then yeah. they have to think about oh the cost of the uh, yeah, food yeah, yeah. the cost of fuel the cost of life the cost of living and it's all true, that so we are implementing passive savings yeah. so that on every expenditure you make mm -hmm. you save something small it's true. on every expenditure you make you save something small these solutions are out there in the market i know i, I know a couple of them like uh, for example an app called sotika allows you to save every time you conduct an mpesa transaction if i send you a thousand Bob, yeah. I can save one percent of that. If I send you whatever, I can save that. Mm -hmm. And and you see that kind of a thing ensures that you always have to save. Yeah. The other thing is to join these uh, uh, weekly savings challenges, yeah. where you say, you know, we earn a lot of money every day. Mm -hmm. We earn a lot of cash. Yeah. Actually, I was supposed to know the other day that last year the money, my, 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 my free cash flow was over 5 million shillings. And if every day I was able just to put aside even 100 shillings or 200 shillings mm -hmm. every day, I would have something substantial. And what you do is you calculate it as a, as a discipline. And the beauty is there are very innovative solutions out there yeah. that are helping you inculcate this savings culture. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, once you've started saving, for example, I'm saving 100 shillings per day, yeah. 200 shillings per day, 300 shillings per day, mm -hmm. then now I should think of how do I grow this wealth? Yeah, sure. How do I create this wealth? Mm -hmm. So it's about investment opportunities. Yes. The capital markets uh, uh, sector has really opened up in terms of investments. Yeah. You can buy government bonds, uh, yeah. the TBS, yeah, the yeah, Emma Kiba. Yeah. You see, the Emma Kiba has been undersubscribed. Why is it been as These are opportunities for you yeah. to actually be able to save your money. Yeah. There are unit trusts that are there. Mm -hmm. uh, insurance companies have investment policies yeah. that are come that yeah. come with a life cover, mm -hmm. with a medical cover, and you get an investment return yeah, that. on top of that. Mm -hmm. So these are opportunities that are available there, mm -hmm. and we are trying to make them available as the private sector very easily to the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. and, and and I think it's quite important that youth become very proactive. Yeah. Go out there and look for these opportunities. Mm -hmm. They are there. Now when it comes on the flip side now. When a young person finds out that it's difficult for them to get a job, mm -hmm. what do they do? 
-hmm. They have to start to think outside the box. Okay. Don't continue tamakin, hoping to get a job. Mm -hmm. If you believe you have a skill that you can provide to any business that you want to be employed in, yeah. then that skill can be provided to so many other businesses. Mm -hmm. Think like an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Most of them told me that I need capital to start. Mm -hmm. No, you don't need capital to start. Mm -hmm. You need the skill and the knowledge yeah. and the will yeah. to start. When you start, mm -hmm. money will follow you. But they always say it's easier said no, than no, no. done. Yes. You know, sometimes we will talk. We will talk everything yes, here. Yes, yes. Um, a young man or a young lady will actually listen to what you're saying. Yes. But you see, uh, mm. when you leave the studio, yes. kind of an our mindset of like, how will I now execute this? Yes. You know, it's easier yes. said yes. than now giving that tangible action yes. to yes. this person. Yeah. Now, how how do they? You know, sometimes it's all yeah. about your mind. Yes. Eh? So it's easier said yes. than actually the action to be taken up front. I get, I yeah. get, I get yeah. uh, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And 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 what I would say is something called will. Mm -hmm. the will of a the person. Yeah, sure. It is what really matters. For example, the reason why you're saying it is easier said than done yeah. is because probably you don't know how to go about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, have, you don't have mm -hmm. someone, a yeah. mentor, mm -hmm. who is able to decipher mm -hmm. it for you mm -hmm. and break it down for you. Yeah. How do you start? Yeah. I'll give you an example. Yeah. The other day I was talking to uh, some guys who have come from the university yeah, yeah. and they were saying they want to start a tour business. Okay. And what they were doing is they were saying we are looking for capital to start a tour business. business. Okay. I told them no. Mm -hmm. You don't need to look for capital to start a tour business. Mm -hmm. First you even need to learn and understand the industry. The industry first. How do you start? Mm -hmm. Subcontract everything. It's true that. In any business mm -hmm. what matters is who owns the client. Yeah. So the first thing you do is you go get a company that's already doing tours and travel. Yeah. Get their packages. Mm -hmm. Go get clients. Structure the packages, true, get man. clients, subcontract. Mm -hmm. Once your volumes are really good mm -hmm. and you're getting a lot of clients on board, mm -hmm. start understanding how does the, this to a business uh, yeah. work around. Yeah. For example, for you to start any business, you have to look at five P's. Mm -hmm. How many P's? Mm -hmm. Five P's. The mm -hmm. first one is the philosophy. Mm -hmm. What is the philosophy of my business? Mm -hmm. What do I want to be able to mm -hmm. achieve? Mm -hmm. Then number two, you look at the processes. Yeah. What are the processes that I'm supposed to follow mm -hmm. for me to deliver all the services that I'm promising to deliver? Sure. Number three, you look at the the the, the performance. Mm -hmm. What is it that I'm going to be able to uh, deliver at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. Number four, look at the people. Who are the people mm -hmm. who are going to deliver yeah. on this? Then yeah. number five, you develop the product. Sure. So the knowledge of how am I supposed to do it, mm -hmm. it is what people lack. And when mm -hmm. they lack that, they have fear in themselves. Mm -hmm. It is the same thing that happens in the Bible. The That's Bible says, that. fear not. Fear That's not. That. But, but, but the, 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 the coward a coward dies so many deaths before the usual death. The usual death. Because they are all yeah. afraid to start. So it's about the will. But how do you build up that? Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can always talk to me. There are so many business mentorship programs ongoing. Yeah. Uh, for example, we also do a business mentorship program uh -huh. uh, here in town mm -hmm. uh, at, at, at Luda Plaza. Mm -hmm. We can be able to guide you. We can show you how do you start mm -hmm. without that capital. The capital yeah. will come. Yeah. But even the person who is going to invest in you, a lot of venture money is coming to the country right okay, now. Okay. All this money that is coming in, they yeah. have to see a business plan. It's true that. They have to see a business. It's they true. have to see traction. Mm -hmm. They have to see that you have clients who want to buy the service. Okay. How do you get that if you never start? It's true that. Now, yes. something else is uh, packaging themselves yes. for in readiness for getting credit. You yes. know, yes. Uh, the banks are very strict out here. Very strict. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the interest rates also, you know what happened. It's yeah. kind of mind boggling. They showed they up. Capped. Microfinance banks also take, taking advantage. Yes. You need to have a collateral yes. to actually now yes. have a green light. Yes. Now, looking at these young people who want to, of course, one of them, one of those guys told you they don't have the capital. Yes. Now, it's still early days. Yes. There's no way they can pack it themselves yes. to get credit. Yes. Now, how should they maneuver through this difficult time? Because now, that's the problem where they want a capital, but yeah. they still want credit, no collateral, no nothing. No nothing. Yeah. Good, good, good. That's just what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. These solutions are available out there. Mm -hmm. It's about going to look at them. Mm -hmm. For example, my my uh, my business, Retis Finance House, yeah, yeah, sure. we help you through that inception stage. Okay. The first thing we do is called business incubation. Okay. We have Nylab, we have Hihub. Yeah, 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 we'll yeah, do yeah. a lot of business incubation. Yeah, yeah. What you get is free space, mm -hmm, free mm -hmm. internet. Mm -hmm. You get free advice okay. from you get free business advisory services mm -hmm. so at that early stage mm -hmm. you are developing a product you want to structure the product we help you to do that okay. we give you research people mm -hmm. who are able to research is the market big enough for the solution you want to be able to provide yeah. in yeah. the market yeah. then once you have a good business plan mm -hmm. we have we have a fund it's, it's an llp fund okay. so we do something called credit guarantee okay so okay. credit guarantee means mm -hmm. we do a core deposits mm -hmm. with uh, with our financiers mm -hmm. we, have, we have we have a very good structure with gt bank yeah you, yeah. you do a core deposit there we guarantee you to get a facility okay but the thing is we have to believe that mm -hmm. your business is 
viable. Yeah. So the solutions are available out there. Okay. It's about being a go-getter. Okay. So at that early inception, when mm -hmm. you're actually doing that, mm -hmm. get to these business incubation programs. Okay. Get to accelerator programs. There are mm -hmm. so many of them. Mm -hmm. And their finances, they finance you even a, a million shillings or two million shillings mm -hmm. just to keep you going while still you're developing your product. Yeah. At the end of the day, you'll give them an equity stake into the business. That's true. That. Open up your mind. Always know that you can walk uh, very fast when you are alone, but you cannot walk far when you are alone. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. to need people. Mm -hmm. So they need to start thinking of, I have a good idea, mm -hmm. can I get a business partner? Okay. If I can get a business partner, they can give me capital for the equity stake that I give to mm -hmm. them. So mm -hmm. let us not be selfish. I've, I've seen that culture where I set up a small business, yeah. I run it by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to match, I don't yeah. want to partner, I don't mm -hmm. want to do all this. Yeah. So I'm making my 10,000 and my costs are too high. Yeah, so yeah. I tell you, this other business is still doing the same thing that you are doing. You can actually be able to match, reduce operational cost and increase bottom line. So amalgamation is also part of uh, an yes. idea. Yes. Because now the, the amalgamating effect also yes. kind yes. of, uh, you know, um, profit sharing. Yes. That's the, now the biggest challenge now yes. people are actually having out here. But yeah. profit sharing is good mm -hmm. because you make better margins. Okay. Why is CBA and NIC margin? Yeah. yeah. Why, why, why is Airtel and, 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 telecom, actually, and telecom margin? margin yeah. Why do the big boys match? Yeah. It is in your mentality that mm -hmm. when you match, you're mm -hmm. losing on profit. No, you're increasing your capacity. Expansion you're, 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 you're increasing yeah. your operational uh, uh, capacity. Mm -hmm. And these are the things we educate. For example, mm -hmm. there's a young man coming up with a very nice software to mm -hmm. do money remittance. Okay. But he needs a license to do that. Mm -hmm. He needs a distribution channel to be able to distribute mm -hmm. the product. Mm -hmm. Why do you have to go through all that hassle? And when you, you can just people, go to yeah. a bank yeah. and negotiate with them and they mm -hmm. buy you out. Mm -hmm. But you think being bought out is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. As long as it's structured well mm -hmm. in a way that you end up being a beneficiary. Okay. If you produce a product like yogurt, you, you, you manufacture yogurt in your yeah. house, in your yeah. basement. Yeah. Why then do you have to grab with distribution? Go to a company mm -hmm. and partner with them and they help you do the yeah. distribution. Yeah, so that. these are kind of the things that we help you be able to do. And we, they are called linkages. And, and right now we are looking at being able to partner with universities okay. where they have a lot of innovation innovations yeah, but sure. no entrepreneurship mm -hmm. skills mm -hmm. so we do linkages where we help, we show you this is the easier way for you to scale your business faster okay, okay, you don't okay. always have to start from scratch all right and you don't need to reinvent the wheel interesting some things have already been done interesting yes. um it's, it's a very um kind of a, a different talk that you have yes. actually brought it up yes, yes. Uh, the partnerships yes and you see partnerships sometimes yes. kind of uh, it means you, putting your heads together you'll yes. be stronger yes. now um uh you know, certificate of incorporation, the whole process, starting afresh again, registering this business. Yes. You know, some, some, some young people kind of get it so difficult. Yes. Now, looking at the partnerships amalgamating, as I said earlier, yes. how should they approach now the whole thing, the legal advice? Yeah. Do they still have to pay? Yeah, yeah, they still have to go through all these processes? Yeah. yeah. The beauty is, as, as, as I've told you, these solutions are available out there. Mm -hmm. For example, in our finance house, mm -hmm. we don't charge you as I am, oh, as I am okay. person, okay. to help you go through that process. Mm -hmm. All you need to do mm -hmm. is to prove to us that mm -hmm. your business idea is viable. Okay. M maybe That's you all you need to do. You can tell us more about your entity because yes, now yes. It's, it's, it's interesting that yes. the, the, the solutions you're offering, yes. it's uh, kind of attractive to this young person yes, who yes. wants to start a They're business. They're addressing their needs. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Maybe your location, yes. where you are before you end up this conversation. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we, we are located at uh, Luther Plaza okay. uh, here in town, mm -hmm. opposite uh, Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. And basically what we do, we offer business consulting services. Mm -hmm. to SMEs and to businesses okay. and we offer business incubation services so if you are mm -hmm. a young person out there mm -hmm. and you have an idea all you need to do is just to come to us mm -hmm. and pitch your idea we'll give you space we'll give you internet mm -hmm. we'll look at it we'll do financial modeling for you mm -hmm. we will project yourselves we'll do yeah. research yeah. and then we do linkages okay. we either say that your business can be good with this uh, other business either yeah. in terms of a merger mm -hmm. or it can be acquired by mm -hmm. another business mm -hmm. and be scaled very fast mm -hmm. and we, we help structure all that in okay. terms of legal structures, in mm -hmm. terms of business documentation, mm -hmm. even in terms of doing uh, documentation to attract investment. Uh -huh. There's a lot of, you, you know, Kenya Kenya last year led in mm -hmm. terms of the dollars that were invested here in venture capital money. Wow. We were we were ahead of South Africa and Nigeria for the first time. The first time. We beat them. So we, we in Kenya, we are attracting a lot of venture mm -hmm. capital mm -hmm. fund. Mm -hmm. But you need to position yourself mm -hmm. to partake on it. Okay. Even the Bible says this mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. that God will bless you, yeah. but you need to create conduits for that blessing. It's true that. There Have must something. be avenues yeah. that yeah. God has to bless yeah, you. It's true. Mana will not fall in your bed. It's true that. Sleeping, yeah. hoping to get a call to yeah. be employed. Your contacts. Yes. Yeah. So 
Our contacts, you can you can go to our website, mm -hmm. uh, retiskenya.com. Retiskenya.com. Yes, uh, yes, you can call us on 0719-114-831. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can be able to access us. You can maybe you can repeat that once again, yes. just for a young person. Yes, yes, you, mm -hmm. yes. You, you can go to our website, retiskenya.com. Okay. Retis is R-E-T-I-C-E, mm -hmm. Kenya.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can call us on 0719-114-831. Eight three one, okay. or you can do as an email uh, mm -hmm. on info at retiskenya.com. Okay, you can follow me on uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, gai, uh, Gaibun mm -hmm. uh, underscore Gitonga. Okay. Yes, okay. Gaibun okay. underscore Gitonga. So th mm -hmm. these are we can have this conversation. Mm -hmm. We can discuss. I can show you the opportunities that are there. Okay. If you need to save, I can show you passive saving solutions. Sure. If you need to to invest, I can show you areas of investing for good, very good returns, wow. Wow. depending wow. on what your risk appetite is. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is the solutions that are available out. There. Yeah. But young people need to be go-getters. Yeah, yeah. And again, we also need to play our role, even as the media or mm -hmm. as the government. We need mm -hmm. to create awareness yeah. that these opportunities are available. It's the same thing I was talking to, to Youth Fund about. Yeah. Let's create awareness in terms of capacity building. Let's show people business opportunities mm -hmm. that are available for them to actually yeah. Uh, yeah. take them up. And then these business mentorship programs, you know, yeah. a lot of young people attend the club. Mm -hmm. Uh, when they see a poster for a club and a business mentorship program, they would prefer to go for the one for the dancing and all that. It's true. But it's good to always uh, continue to empower your mind and your knowledge. It's mm -hmm. about learning, listening to these business mentorship programs, mm -hmm. uh, getting to read more books so that you can be able to see what opportunities are available out okay, there. Okay. So most of the time, uh, I, I don't want to blame the young people, yeah. but I want to say you need to be a go-getter if you need mm -hmm. to get something. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's important that these young people also uh, push themselves out there to see if these opportunities are quite actually wow, available. Wow. Yes. Interesting conversation. Very powerful. Yes. And I believe a young person out yes. there, you've yes. really heard about all this um, maneuvering through. But the bigger picture is go and, of course, meet these guys. They'll help you uh, traverse all those challenges you're going through in your business. Or maybe you have this hope of opening a new business that the people will actually sort you out. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. I, I really appreciate it. Mm. And uh, finally, before you, in fact, I let you go, yes. um, confidence in starting maybe briefly yes. give us the tip just the confidence in now catapulting yourself of course to push yourself to the walls yes. to start this business a yes. quick one yeah. yes you only get confident if you believe you can do it okay now the belief mm -hmm. comes from the skill okay you need to develop your skill okay for example if if i want to do a, a certain business okay. do i have the knowledge do i have the skill to actually yeah. be able to do that okay so expand your skill set mm -hmm. that's number one number okay. two mm -hmm. expand your knowledge base okay. Okay. when you do that then mm -hmm. you will believe that okay. i can actually be able to do it okay the reason why we all fear mm -hmm. is because we lack the knowledge it's true that. yes okay. and the bible says my mm -hmm. people perish due to lack of knowledge, knowledge so you yeah. get to become a coward mm -hmm. because you don't know wow yes interesting yes also spiritual angle in that mm, yes. it's up to you now mm. reach him and of course you'll be sorted thank you so much Malang Gideon thank you for coming much. to the studio